get to see your work, man, you know, you get a little misty just watching it. Um, first of all, I just want to just thank God for just giving me this opportunity to be here right now. Um, I wanted to also thank um, Mr. Lurie, you know, for just taking a chance on me, just coming out of college back in 1998, you know, um, really didn't have a lot of, I, I wasn't like a lot of the other college players. I started off as a defensive end, I was recruited as a defensive end, I switched over to the offensive line. So it was some position that I really had to learn, and so I really didn't have uh, a whole lot of uh, many starts under my game, under my belt, going into um, uh, coming into my last year. I only had one full season of starting, so you know, um, I really thank the organization for just taking a chance on me back then in '98 and making me a first round draft pick. Um, second, I want to just thank Coach Reed for just always, um, you know, being there and being like a second father figure to me, and um, just really. I said I was going to be like this coming up in here. <laughs> thought I was going to be able to hold something up. But, uh, you know, Coach Reed always was there throughout. A lot of my own personal situations just coming up through, through uh, just for any game. And just living through life. And I just think that just being such a great example of what it takes to be a father, to be a husband. Keep being a professional in this game, you know. Uh, me and Ms. Nab used to joke all the time. Because, um, you know, when we would have our post meeting meetings all the time, and, you know, Coach Reed would call us in, and he would always give us a speech about um, Rich White, Brett Farr, you remember, he used to call us in all the time. And we'd get all these speeches out, and we'd be like, hey, we go. Coach Reed's about to talk to us again about Rich White and Brett Farr. <laughs> Always the same story. You know? And it wasn't until, you know, when I was just thinking about, you know, with me retiring, that it all came together, you know, what you were really trying to do. And what he was teaching us was how to be a professional and how to carry yourself from being a talented athlete in college and how to put the work into this game to make yourself a legacy, to make yourself a legend. And I think that's what you were really trying to put into us, and I really appreciate it. You know, thirdly, you know, I have to just thank, you know, the uh, greatest position coach I've ever had, the one for steel. You know, uh, this was a city that I originally wanted to play for, it's just right out the gate. As soon as I got off the plane and I stepped out on that field, I came to visit Philadelphia, and it was probably about 6 or 7 o'clock in the evening. Juan met me when we were at the bed at the time. Juan took me straight from the plane, and we went out of the vet field, and we started doing pass sets, you know, <laughs> vertical sets. And I knew that, you know what, this is the city that I need to play for. This is the coach that I need to have. And I just thank you, Juan, for, for all the years that you put into me, all the work that we did, you know, um, holding me accountable, making sure that you could coach me at any level. You could push me, you could challenge me, and I just thank you everything that you've done in my life. The reason I opened Seven New Sports, the uh, facility that I own now, is because of what you put in me, and uh, because of the technique that you taught me, that's the reason why I opened my facility, based off of what you've done and what you poured in me. And I just feel like, from what I've been taught, it should be shared with others. And that was the main reason for me even opening my own business. This organization has done so much for me and my family and just what we're doing. And just in and off the field, you know. Um, I have to thank, of course, my beautiful wife and my kids. You know, I sit back and I look at my kids and I see how much they've grown and the things that they've done. And I know that it's my wife that teaches them everything that they're doing. You know, with me being in the football and doing it and always being on the go and on the run, you know, it's, you, it's, you, it's your wife that holds you down and that's always there supporting and making sure that the house is taken care of, and making sure that the kids are being taught what they're supposed to be taught, and just making sure that she's supporting every dream that I have, and just sticking through 
all the emotional ups and downs of being an athlete, just dealing with me when, when I'm trying to find that balance of being a gladiator on the field and then still, still trying to come home and be the husband and, and father that I need to be. You know, I just thank you for just um, just going through this, this road with me. I know that I wouldn't have been able to make it these years without you. And I just thank you for always being there for me. I thank my family for supporting me, my parents. I thank my, uh, my pastors for always being there for me and just praying for me and keeping me lifted up. And I just thank you, kids. Also, my boy.